We are taking to the waves now as we go paddling in the Brazilian surf with the Stand Up World Tour. A Biracera in the south of Brazil. And just up the stunning coastline, the competitors on the Stand Up World Tour were getting to grips with the waters of the South Atlantic. It's just beautiful, nice smooth waves. Not very big, but just perfect. The whales are out there as well. Just beautiful, paradise. The biggest performances of the weekend were expected to come from Kai Lenny and Paio Lizarazu, who occupied first and second in the championship respectively, and qualified strongly during the opening rounds of the competition on the way to the final four. The conditions were pretty tough and, you know, Leko, he destroyed it and he's, yeah, a great competitor and I was stoked to, you know, you know, get that last one wave to, you know, get me into second place. Uh, I just was looking for that. I had a little bit of a hard time at first, but yeah, I'm, I'm just stoked. I'm stoked that I've stayed this consistent for out of four events. I think it went well. It was a bit tight. Uh, the surf is a bit inconsistent. So I think there was maybe one or two proper sets. Making it through to the first run is uh, always a big challenge and making it through to the next one will be always a challenge all the way to the final. So it's the same for everybody and we have a lot of pressure, but yeah, the level is good. The level is really good. With the sport of stand-up paddle surfing growing in popularity amongst both amateurs and professionals, it's hardly surprising that the Brazilian leg of the World Tour attracted some native watermen who would use their local knowledge to challenge the more established riders on the tour. The heats have been at a really high level and there are some great riders out there. I'm the only Brazilian left now, so I've got to represent Brazil and my family. And Leco Salazar, who entered the event thanks to second place in the Brazilian qualifiers, would join Lenny and Lizarazu in the final. Making up the final four was Antoine Del Pero, who won all of his heats, but was now finding the waves a bigger challenge than he expected. Surprised because I, I didn't really know uh, where I was. I think I was third. So uh, yeah, at the beginning of the heat, I wasn't very good. I fall because I tried bigger things like uh, pushing my my feet out of the nose, but some long ball things. <laughs> but it didn't it didn't really work. So uh, I keep going and I had good waves at the end. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm very surprised and I'm happy to be in the final. The final, a 40-minute session in the heavy conditions, proved a fitting test for the last four. With his third fourth place of the year, Lizarazu maintained his title push, but will need a big result at the final in Hawaii to take the inaugural title. Ahead of him in third, Del Pero also kept his hopes alive. But neither could match the skill and control of Lenny and Salazar, who battled to the end. Before much of the surprise of everyone, it was the Brazilian wildcard who took the win. The right waves just came my way. I beat Kai Lenny, who's a fantastic surfer, a kid from the new generation. He's just awesome, so I'm so happy to have won here.